Hi, this is Paul, and I'm the developer of Octane Render for Moto. This is a quick tutorial on having multiple UV maps in the plugin. Moto creates UV maps by name, so you can see here uh, the cube has got two UV maps, one called Cube, one called Taurus. Um, Octane has UV maps by index. You can have up to three of them, so the plugin will attempt to map these names uh, to a, a unique index within Octane. So with this scene here that's running in the Moto renderer, when we open that in Octane, you'll see that uh, it reports an error. Um, and you can see that the torus here is UV mapped correctly in Moto, but not in Octane. So the reason for that is, well, we can actually see the, uh, if we go into the log, the error log, you'll see that it's uh, been unable to determine the UV index for the torus there. So uh, to understand a bit more as to why this has happened, uh, the plugin processes each of these meshes. It first processes the cube and in doing so it assigns the torus UV map name to index 2 and cube is index 1. So once torus has been assigned index 2, it needs to be in the second slot for all meshes where it's used. So for example, the cylinder where it's used, it's in slot 2, but the torus, it's in slot 1. So we can easily resolve this by clicking a new map and calling it uh, new map. It doesn't actually have to be used, but by adding that new map, that pushes the torus index being used by the torus mesh from 1 to 2. So then when we refresh, you'll see that now the torus has the correct UV mapping. So um, as long as your moto scene has, if it has multiple UV maps, as long as the plugin can map those multiple maps down into three indexes, UV map indexes in Octane, your scene will render correctly. Um, if it can't do that, it will pop um, a message in the Octane log and you can then go to that particular mesh and find out uh, why there's a problem there. So I hope that helps people with multiple UV maps. Thanks for watching.